Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Infotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. In this video session, we will learn that how will we post form data to server by using Ajax request. In the last video session, we have learned that how we make our first Ajax request with a proper manner in WordPress. So guys, if you are a beginner from this video session, then I strongly recommend to watch my last video which in which we have explained so many details about Ajax request. Okay, and also if you go to our YouTube channel, then you can find that so many videos that i have made for you about custom plugin development theme development visa development and many more so and also guys you can subscribe to our channel to get the latest update our uploading techniques as well as this is our tutor page where you can like our tweets and this is our blog in which we can post our latest posts also you can visit to our blog and read from there okay so in this video session we will discuss about posting form data with a proper form validation means before first of all we will validate our form data either the form data is valid or not if it is valid then we will post all the form data to server and we get a response from the server and just show it on console for now okay so let me make our form on add new add new page it's add new.php file and let me uh, make bootstrap form so just go to bootstrap and uh, let me copy of all the code it's a simple form just copy of that paste it here control s to save and let's refresh the page Just click on add new so this is the form that we have made by using bootstrap okay so just remove this it's a name suppose we will take name it's a type text id should be txt name name should be txt name enter name remove this and here is your email address type equal to email txt email and the name should be txt email okay and enter your email this is your press holder just remove this click on submit and do uh, action for now it's leave blank and id should be it's a form post so this is the form this is a simple form guys as you can see we have made by using bootstrap this is a simple form and the layout for this page if we refresh this page then you can see this is the simple layout structure that we did by using bootstrap okay now if we click on submit then you can see it's directly sub form is posting to the server we want that before posting data to server we need to check by using proper validation that form fails are if it is empty then we will not allow to this form to post to the server otherwise we will post data to server so to make the proper validation to any html form we have to use there are so many techniques as you can say if you will about uh, form validation then you can get several mm -hmm. several techniques to means apply form validation to html form so in this video session we will use one of the method that is validation validation dot mean dot chase okay it is one of the method to validate validation dot mean dot chase it is a library file guys which actually use to validate the form okay so let me first download this file so go to its official website type validation.main.js on google and let us click this link so after clicking this link you just go to download section or just go to back click on demos
by going to its source code we take here it's a value dot mean dot js just copy of this link or you can save to as local file also okay so for now i gonna use this as a live url copy of this and just paste to your file just paste it here and just give the tag src and paste it here so this is how we have used our validation plugin file okay let me close all the files now how can we apply the validation by using this library file don't worry just copy of this id copy of that script script function this is the idea of form as we have seen you can say the idea of is from post dot validate method is one of the method which is defined under this library okay validate is one of the method in this library which actually validates the form before submission as you can see form post is the id of this form we are going to post this form to server by passing through validate method validate method what it does it checks the form post either all the values are filled according to its validation methods if it is okay then it passes to the server okay and if the form is okay then submit handler is the object under this validate method which actually takes the data from this form to the server okay console.log and just click copy of this paste it here and dot serialize method let me explain what it just i want to be required fill it is required required i want that these two fields are necessary for user to fill this okay i'll tell us to save submit handler actually it is submit handler just control f5 so if you click on submit button you can see these are the validation messages which is given by validate method because we have supplied that these two methods actually required filled okay so on clicking on this button form submission the validate methods checks the validation methods we have applied so far this these two fields are required so not going through submit handle method it backs through this and gives the message as you can see so let me make some css for this because as we know it's uh, error message so let me make color for this is as red okay so just copy of this class name this id for post by going to this id this class we have to be css for this so just style this is the id ID by going to this ID it's a label and label with the, with the class error label with the class error copy of that is it here and the color should be red just press this click on this as you can see now the red color message appears and it shows that these two fields are necessary okay now just fill my name suppose to three suppose it's the email for now click on inspect just click on submit 
and this is the value txt name equal to sanjay kumar and txt email equal to sanjay1234 at gmail.com this is the guys actually serialize method does serialize method actually gets all the parameters from the form with the name attribute txt name and the txt email this is the name actually comes from the name attribute okay on the form submission it takes all the input parameters with the name values and it makes the query string as you can see query string by using m percent operator in the middle section so it appended all the parameters from the form submission and make it a query string okay so just we need to pass this value to the server and by getting this value to server we need to make our ajax request okay so let me make that Prepare post data this is the value we get and also we need to make that action equal to custom what we have written in the last that is custom plugin library copy of that paste it here and also that is param go to get message param go to get message so in this case it's a post data post form data all we need to guys this actually that this amount of code we can also write to this file okay so it's better to move this code and paste into this javascript file okay so let me cut that and paste it here remove this script type from here let me check that it is working or not so dot log hello control f5 to refresh just click on it yeah it's it's working fine because we have actually used validate method and it automatically includes this file here so it's working okay so we need to pass this form value to the custom plugin library file and after getting custom plugin library our plugin file checks our plugin file checks this value after getting custom plugin library action as a parameter it includes the file library file where we handles all ajax requests and this is the ajax request handler file okay so this is the parameter by getting get message but in this case we have written our parameter as post form data just to make copy of that is it here so if get param equal to equal to post form data okay so for now we are just echoing our request parameters request parameters and let me die we just echoing all the values which coming from script and after getting let me make post request hx url and its post data and the function okay about all the parameters guys about ajax url post data and the function of this post request all we have discussed in the last video session so please watch last video to negate clear concept about this console.log and it's the response value okay so this response comes from this function actually Response. So let me refresh that. So validation working? Yes, it's working. Let me make online way tutor. Online way 
2234 at the gmail.com just click on submit button yeah you can say txt name equal to online web tutor txt email it's online 1234 it's action name and parameter these all parameters we have have passed actually from our js code you can say first two parameters are coming from the form which is in serialized form and also you can go to network section just clear it for now and click on submit so if you click on admin ajax.php then you can see this is the ajax url and this is the preview message we get to our console okay our request is 200 means okay so we have successfully posted our form data to server okay so let me make some formatting to server instead of printing just we need to make a quotation in code in code and it's an array so let me make that control f5 to refresh inspect element online web tutor gmail.com click here submit so this is the json format data which we got from the server and now if you want to parse this value if you want to parse this value from our javascript code then simple steps that we have to follow something like this we are getting all the response of json in this response object okay so let me cut that where data equal to and uh, this is the method guys parse json is a jquery method which actually parse the json value json object and it gives the value so, so according to we can see that actually it's a basic json format data there is no object okay so simply we can iterate on that if it contains an object then we have to use parse json method but it is not containing an object so if we want to suppose make use of response dot if you want to get a name just copy of that txt name dot so this is the name of our site it's a name okay and uh, if you want to get email email then it's a response dot email so like that so if you control f5 to refresh just suppose online web tutor so one two three four then you can see no okay name equal to undefined is email equal to undefined let me check that okay guys actually we have just encoded the values so actually these all values are coming from json code so we have to parse this value by using parse json method so dollar dot parse json this response and this data actually contains the value let me make use of that console.log data control f5 to refresh online web tutor online web and this is the value which we are getting from server txt name txt email so copy txt email txt name so it's not response it's data okay txt name and it's data and it's txt email copy of that paste it here so let me refresh that
So accordingly, we are getting our values like name, online web tutor, email as online1234 at gmail.com. And this is the console message that we have actually put here. Okay. So guys, actually we are equating or printing our value as JSON encoded. So to get the all the JSON encoded value, we have to actually parse those values by using parse JSON method. This is jQuery method which is defined under jQuery plugin library. As you can see, we have actually included jQuery.main.js and it's a file which is a function defined in this library. And also, guys, one more thing, we have posted this form by using validate.main.js, which actually checks validation methods and uh, with the rules like required. And we have successfully posted this form data to our server and we have handled also as you can see. So if you have any query about this video session, if you have any suggestions for us or any type of resources you want to learn extra means customizations in WordPress, so feel free to ask and if you have any query then please do comment in the comment box. I will give my reply as soon as possible. In the next video session we will see that how we make our queries to database of WordPress and put, delete, update and insert data from database table in and out. Okay guys, so for this video session, thank you for watching, have a great day.